I suppose we can head over to the laptop now if I can figure out where it's at. Oh, it's over here. You know, the laptop station. All right. We'll open this. Murders related to real blood. Yikes. I forgot we put like a, a, a mustache on him now. <laughs> Flashback. Look for D. Please enter a password. Connoisseur, rectangular, clam chowder. <laughs> Why does he even bother with a password? Also, I like how that totally had like the logging into Windows sound He's as well. Geographical profiling. BPD. A hockey rink. Diana's Cafe. The Oldman Clinical Research Lab, this apartment, and the house little Peggy grew up in. Teddy, just what the hell are you investigating? Cut to opening credits. Oh yes, welcome to another episode of Dark Dreams Don't Die. On this episode, we fall asleep at the kitchen table. Morning, little Peggy. Good morning, David. <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. I thought we put him in different clothes. But oh well, there's bacon. That's always a good thing. Mm. <laughs> Suspense. Tell me, how's the case going? The mementos are all gone. What? How'd that happen? Someone attacked me. What kind of attack? Felt like electricity. A stun gun or something. Knocked me right out. <sighs> so we're back to square one. No. I do have this. Hmm. Doesn't look like much. What it looks like is a lens from some sunglasses. And what does that mean? Tell me, Teddy. Do federal marshals use stun guns? Hmm. At their discretion, maybe. But why would Derek Buchanan <sighs> use one? That muscle-bound, hard-headed old schooler. I don't know. Must have been an on-the-spot kind of thing. Hmm. Changing the subject, Teddy. Can I ask you something? Hmm. 
Hmm. You didn't go home last night, did you? That's not unusual for me. But you always go back home. On nights when you fight with Diana. Me and her, we've been together a long time. I, I got a feel for which, you know, fights are best to stay away from a little longer. Look, I'm telling you the truth. We have our own way of doing things, that's all. Huh? Oh, yeah, J just forget about all that, all right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> right now, you need to concentrate Baseball. on the case of the vanishing courier. This one is linked to D. That's what my gut tells me. My detective gut. Not my beer one. Look for a memento among the evidence. I can't eat any of that food. What's the point? It's no good. I can't find anything. There's just feathers flying out <laughs> on the outside. Lots of documents. I probably have to get the baseball from Amanda. Oh, hey. But that's the thing we got, that was left in our apartment by the other, but the the doctor looking dude. David, I miss you. It's quiet at night, and I sit listening to the clock tick, marking the time until you visit me. Then, if you visit and leave for work, it's the worst feeling. No, I'm going to be lonely for another day. I sometimes wish you'd never come at all. Today's your first promotion since you joined the force, isn't it? Hope you're out right now celebrating. Have fun. Must be Forrest's first promotion, too. Congrats to both of you. I hope you're proud, because I am. Being able to sleep in my own bed feels, still feels like a small victory. If I've learned anything about the past two years, is to look at everything as a gift. Even the painful things. This sickness might be fate's way of telling me to keep on living. It's a difficult gift to handle, but as long as you're in my life, I think I can win. Right now, I'm looking forward to the both of us drinking a cold beer in the not-too-distant future, celebrating that my disease is in, remi in remission for good. Love little Peg me. The Peggy. Drop the ball. I will take that. <gasps> it's a memento. Whoa. Amanda. <laughs> Jesus. Good girl and hand that over. Give it back. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. You can't hide from me. <laughs> That's it. Good girl. Just stay still. Uh -huh. Huh? Oh, hold it! 
Jesus. Oh, David, are you gonna destroy the entire house? You could help out, you know. But <laughs> ow. Yes, gotcha. Now, Teddy. This is the end, Amanda. Give me the ball. No. I don't think so. What a grab. Teddy, this is a memento. A memento. Also my back's a broke. Baseball? How come? How the hell did that get in among the evidence anyway? Because I got involved in its past. I changed this ball into a memento. Maybe I really can change the past. Dave, we'll restart in this investigation. I've made the connection, little Peggy. Memento. Beat up baseball. The ball that the courier threw in the airplane somehow found its way into the evidence, and Amanda claimed it as her toy. I got involved with it, so it transformed to a memento. With this, should be able to get back inside that plane. Go to the main bathroom and dive to the past. Studious. That's me. I collected 100 or 10,000 credits. Oh, there's a package. Ball possession. <laughs> Gold Rush set. Let's see what that is. Or really, who's that for? Before we head off and dive into the great beyond of planes. I don't think it's mine. No. Gold Rush jacket. Oh, man. <laughs> we are going with that. Yep. <laughs> Hundred percent. Hundred percent. 